Hi lovelies and welcome in my kitchen. Today the smell of Christmas morning lays in the air as we are baking a classic holiday favorite. Jam filled and festive decorated sugar cookies. In my opinion the best sugar cookies out there. This Yule or Christmas cookie recipe that I will be sharing with you today is not my own, but a traditional German recipe from an old monk. Padre Pius's Buttery Biscuits And as we all know, monasteries do produce the best baked goodies. As always, you can find the ingredients and measurements down below in the description box. We will start by preparing the quick and easy cookie dough and mix flour and powdered sugar in a big bowl. Then we add in baking powder and a pinch of salt. Next we want to add in the eggs and my favorite secret ingredient to make those cookies incredibly soft and flavorful, tons and tons of butter, best at room temperature. Personally, I like to add a little squeeze of lemon juice to balance out the sweetness a bit, or depending on personal taste, you can also add a tiny swig of rum or rose water. Then we combine everything with a fork and our hands, or with a kitchen machine and some dogs if you want to avoid sticky paws. By the way, the tradition to bake Christmas cookies is believed to come out of the baking culture of monasteries and convents during the Middle Ages, as they were able to afford the back then expensive ingredients needed for sweet treats made of exotic spices, nuts and sugar. My favorite German mystic, herbalist and Benedictine nun Hildegard von Bingen, otherwise known as Saint Hildegard, even wrote in the 12th century that during the darker times, gingerbread with nutmeg should be consumed to aid mental well-being and lift the spirits. Truly a lady after my own heart. Now that we have a smooth dough, we want to cover the work surface with flour. I usually immediately sprinkle it on my reusable baking sheets, as it is less mess than to clean it off the table. And then we roll out the dough, remembering to rub the rolling pin and flour, as well as to sprinkle some on top of the dough if it is very sticky. You can also refrigerate the dough for about 30 minutes so the butter hardens again if the dough is too annoying to work with. It should be rolled out fairly thin, maybe around 2-3 to three millimeters. And once the dough is flat we can cut out the cookies. This is also a great activity for kids. If you have rolled out the dough directly onto the baking sheet, Make sure you leave some space between the cookies in case they expand a bit in the oven. By the way, shaped ritual baked goods for festivities already date back to pre-Christian times, as we can see from historic pictorial representations and archaeological finds. Some tribes of the Celts are believed to have celebrated the winter solstice eating flat grain cakes sweetened with honey shaped like animals. The very first type of cookie cutter is documented from the 14th century. The Springerle, a cookie stamp with intricate detail, usually made from wood, pottery or nowadays plastic. It was used to press entire pictures and elaborate patterns into the dough. Now that we have beautiful little shapes, we want to bake those cookies for about 7 minutes at 160 degrees Celsius. Be careful not to let them brown too much, as this will get them very dry and we want them as buttery and soft as possible. Checking often is advised. Once done, we let them cool down. Here in Germany, this cookie dough recipe is a basic one for many different variations. Depending on the shape of the cookie, how it is decorated or filled, it will have another regional name and different folklore with it. But today we are making one of my favorite variations, jam filled sugar cookies, usually just referred to as jam cookies. Personally, I find slightly tart jam works best, for example rose hip or sour cherry. But apricot or raspberry are yummy too, and I even tried it with peanut butter. 
We just take a small dollop and place it in between two cookies and then bring them together. These Christmas cookies do hold up for weeks and actually get better the longer they lay, if they don't inexplicably evaporate into thin air as they do in my house. You can store them at room temperature, best in one of those metal cookie tins. If you're not big on jam, you could also make a glaze with water and powdered sugar and a little squeeze of lemon juice. You could also add some food colorant to it if you want a more vibrant decoration. Depending on how thick you'd like your glaze to be, add more or less powdered sugar and mix it all until smooth. Then you can brush this onto the cooled down sugar cookie and sprinkle some fun decorations on top. Another fantastic afternoon filling activity to keep kids busy and happy. Closer to the holidays, I love to take some more time and decorate some of the cookies with more intricate details and care and for example write names onto them to use as edible gift tags. But as it is tradition here in Germany to bake tons of different Christmas cookie varieties and have pots of sweet goodies stocked up till under the roof, I usually keep it simple as the overall baking madness is already exhausting enough, but well worth it. So this was it for my today's video of holiday cheer and yule preparations. I do hope you enjoyed this sweet treat. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite baked yule or Christmas goods are. And I will see you tomorrow, either here on YouTube or over on Instagram, for day 4 of 21 days till yule. Don't forget to check out the hashtag to find other creators to bring you some merriment and joy. Have a wonderful day and see you soon!